How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host Warren and today we're going to be telling you everything that you need to know about the upcoming Spider-Man 4 movie with Tom Holland in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We'll tell you everything that we know so far about Spider-Man 4, whether it's coming from Marvel Studios, set photos, insiders. We'll go over the general main plot, the heroes, villains, and other characters that are going to show up in this film, including talking about Miles Morales and... Venom. Venom has been mentioned a few times, which makes a lot of sense considering that they set him up in the Spider-Man No Way Home post credit scene. We also have a new possible romance for Peter Parker in Spider-Man 4, no longer MJ possibly, and we'll talk about how Spider-Man 4 will tie into the next Avengers films and what the future of Spider-Man looks like after Avengers Secret Wars and the new rebooted MCU. So if you love Spider-Man and Marvel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the latest Spider-Man and Marvel news. Now starting with the general plot of the movie, a lot of what we have heard has been confirmed from set photos that we got from Daredevil Born Again. Recently Daredevil Born Again finished filming, and if you are not aware, Daredevil Born Again is going to kind of go right into Spider-Man 4. A lot of what happens in Daredevil Born Again is going to be very, very important for what happens in Spider-Man 4. The main thing being that Kingpin is going to be the mayor of New York City. So he is going to be one of the villains in Spider-Man 4. And he's making a lot of trouble for Spider-Man. Not specifically Peter Parker, but more on that in just a bit. You see, Kingpin will become mayor in Daredevil Born Again. The post credit scene for Echo set this up. Kingpin listening to the news, listening to the anchor stating that the people of New York want somebody tough. Basically somebody who can get into a fist fight, which is right up Kingpin's alley. So we'll see this come to fruition in Daredevil Born Again, but we're also going to see Kingpin make a rule, pass a law that it's illegal to be a vigilante. And this is confirmed. We have set photos of police officers on the set of Daredevil Born Again wearing badges that say Anti-Vigilante Task Force, New York City, Mayor Fisk. So this is 100% confirmed and this is going to go right into Spider-Man 4. In Spider-Man 4, it's illegal to be a vigilante, but that does not stop Spider-Man. So what happens? Well, Mayor Kingpin, Mayor Fisk, as it's shown, has this anti-vigilante task force. But it's not just going to be some police officers who are a part of this task force. There are going to be other villains as well. Now, real quick, if you didn't hear about what's going on between Marvel and Sony, it's really important that you know. Basically, Sony wanted Spider-Man Spider-Man 4 to be a huge multiversal film with a ton of villains in it, whereas Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios wanted it to be a more grounded street level film, not really involving the multiverse too much with the movie. Obviously, it would be involved a little bit because it's in the multiverse saga and it's going to lead into the next Avengers film and Secret Wars. Luckily for us, based off of everything that we've heard, they came to a pretty good compromise. So now it is going to be a street level film, but at the end of it, there is going to be some multiversal aspects to it and the film is going to include many different different villains, but more on that when we talk about the villains. Now I mentioned before that this is going to be a problem, the anti-vigilante task force for Spider-Man and not so much Peter Parker because we've heard that Peter Parker is kind of dead in this film, meaning that Peter has kind of put his own self aside and is focusing on being Spider-Man in Spider-Man 4. And this does make a lot of sense considering what happened at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home. Doctor Strange used the spell to make everybody forget who Peter Parker was. So Peter Parker really has nobody right now, so it sounds like he's going to really just dive into being Spider-Man and helping people. But that gets kind of hard when you're trying to help people in New York City, and the mayor of New York City just made it illegal to be a vigilante. So Kingpin is going to send a a lot of different villains after Spider-Man and Spider-Man 4. One of them could be his love interest, Black Cat. It's been reported by several insiders that Black Cat is going to be in Spider-Man 4. And rumor has it right now that Sidney Sweeney is going to be playing Black Cat, but keep in mind that is just a rumor at this point in time. But the reports say that Peter is going to have a new love interest that isn't MJ. And again, going back to No Way Home, MJ forgot who Peter Parker was. MJ does not know Peter. So the fact that she's not the love interest makes sense. However, the rumors say that eventually MJ is going to start to remember Peter. And Marvel did release the final page 
page of the script for Spider-Man No Way Home, and it did say that MJ basically had a feeling of remembrance or familiarity when talking to Spider-Man, when talking to Peter at the end. So that seems to check out as well. MJ will probably go on to remember who Peter Parker is, and that might put Peter in a little bit of a love triangle between MJ and Black Cat. Now with the next plot point, we're also going to be diving into the long list of characters who are rumored to be in this movie. And this first one is kind of a rumor, kind of not a rumor, because it's about Venom. And Venom has already been teased and confirmed by Marvel to be coming to the MCU for Tom Holland. We think back to the Venom Let There Be Carnage post credit scene where Venom and Eddie Brock came to the MCU, then in the Spider-Man No Way Home post credit scene where they left the MCU but left a part of the symbiote behind, obviously setting up the symbiote to find Peter Parker at some point in time. Some insiders claim that Venom will indeed find Peter Parker at some point in time in Venom 3. However, we also know that Sony wanted a lot of different characters to be in this movie and they also wanted it to be a big multiversal film, so some of the villains weren't even going to to be from our universe. So that means that Eddie Brock's Venom could show up in Spider-Man 4. In fact, it seems like Sony might have wanted that. They also mentioned that Sony might have wanted Mysterio from another universe to show up as well. Now, since it's not so much a big multiversal film like Sony wanted it to be, these probably aren't going to happen. Still, they have been mentioned. But one way or another, it does seem like Venom is going to show up in some way, shape, or form, whether that's Tom Hardy's Venom and Eddie Brock, or it's just picking up from where the Spider-Man No Way Home post credit scene left off and the new symbiote finds Peter. Either way, it looks like we are getting Venom in Spider-Man 4. It's also been reported by many insiders that we are indeed going to be getting Miles Morales in Spider-Man 4. Now, Sony executive producer Amy Pascal did in fact confirm that a live action Miles Morales is coming. So this checks out and I think it's going to be a really cool thing to have in Spider-Man 4. Spider-Man meeting Miles and starting to mentor him. And this will probably be over the course of three different films, Spider-Man 4, Spider-Man 5, and Spider-Man 6, ultimately leading up up to Miles being the new Spider-Man of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Tom Holland reportedly signed up for six more movies since Spider-Man No Way Home. That would be Spider-Man 4, 5, and 6, Avengers 5 slash Avengers King Dynasty, Avengers Secret Wars, and one more film that we don't know about yet. We're still unsure what that last movie is going to be, but after this contract is done, presumably with Spider-Man 6, Tom Holland is reportedly going to be done. He has expressed that he doesn't want to play Spider-Man for an extremely long period of time. He'd like to see somebody else come and take the mantle, and it looks like Miles Morales is going to be the Spider-Man that is going to be the main one, which I'm here for. I think it sounds like a great idea. Now, as far as heroes showing up in this movie, Black Cat could really go either way. She is kind of a criminal when she starts off, but ultimately her and Peter Parker end up being in a relationship with each other and she ends up being good. So she might start off by working for Kingpin, but rumor has it she's going to try and get revenge on Kingpin for something. Now, in the comics, her father dies, so perhaps they're going that route in the movie. Perhaps Kingpin has something to do with the death of her father. He was a criminal as well, a cat burglar, so maybe they were both working for Kingpin and something happens and her father dies. Then she'll turn good, then she'll work with Spider-Man, the romance will start, and I think it'll be really cool to see. Also, Daredevil Born Again is going to lead right into Spider-Man No Way Home, so Daredevil is going to show up in the film as well. And it makes sense not only because Matt Murdock is a lawyer and he's probably going to be defending the vigilantes against Mayor Fisk, but also, of course, because he is Daredevil. And we're really looking forward to this team up. Now, what's also been reported is that Ant-Man could show up and that Ant-Man and Daredevil will kind of be kind of the angel and devil on Peter's shoulders. Daredevil's identity is not known. Nobody knows that he's Matt Murdock. So therefore he could continue to be a vigilante. Now Ant-Man doesn't exactly live in New York, but if he's there, Peter might be having trouble with, well, should I continue to be Spider-Man even though it's illegal? And Ant-Man could weigh in and say that he couldn't do it because people do know his identity and he's got a family. So it would be not really easy to arrest him because he is Ant-Man, but easy to figure out who he is and issue a warrant for his arrest. So the rumor is that Ant-Man might show up, kind of presenting the opposite side of Daredevil, and this is what Peter is going to struggle with throughout the film. I should note that it has not been said that these two characters, Daredevil and Ant-Man, are not going to be Peter's mentors. They're more likely going to be simply colleagues. Colleagues who have a little bit more experience at being superheroes than Spider-Man does. Maybe not more experience, but have been doing it for longer. So he'll simply look to them for advice. More like colleague advice, not really mentorship, because I do believe we are finally going to see Spider-Man on 
on his own fending for himself, which is what a lot of people have really wanted. So Miles Morales, Black Cat, Ant-Man, and Daredevil are the ones reportedly going to appear in this film. As far as the villains are concerned, we talked about Kingpin. He's going to be in the film and pretty much be the main villain. But as I mentioned, he is going to send other villains after Spider-Man. And some of those rumored characters who are going to go after Spider-Man are Scorpion, Chameleon, Venom, as we mentioned, and Mysterio, as we mentioned as well. Tombstone has also been mentioned as a possible main villain for this movie. Kingpin will still kind of be the main villain. However, it's said there's going to be kind of a sub main villain because Kingpin's not going to go away after this movie. They're most likely building up to a really, really big fight between Kingpin himself and Spider-Man, which I don't think is going to happen in this movie. I think probably Spider-Man 5 or Spider-Man 6. And that leaves us with the future of Spider-Man. As I mentioned, it sounds like the ending of Spider-Man 4 is going to be something involved with the multiverse. And we know that he is going to be one of the lead characters of Avengers 5 and Avengers Secret Wars. So expect a lot of Spider-Man in those movies. Now, after Avengers Secret Wars, it said that Marvel Studios is going to do a soft reboot of the MCU. Spider-Man, specifically Tom Holland's Spider-Man, will survive that reboot. And he'll go on to do Spider-Man 5 and Spider-Man 6. However, like I mentioned, Spider-Man 6 is most likely his final film, and after that he'll pass the mantle over, most likely, to Miles Morales. And unfortunately, that will be the end of Tom Holland as Spider-Man, but at that point, he would have given it an amazing run. From Civil War to Infinity War, Endgame, Avengers 5, Secret Wars, Spider-Man 4, 5, 6, plus the original trilogy, that's a lot. It really is a lot. So it would make sense that he's done after Spider-Man 6, but what a run he's going to have as Spider-Man. So go ahead and let me know your thoughts about Spider-Man 4 and the future of Spider-Man in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on Spider-Man and all the recent Marvel news. If you subscribe and leave a comment, you're entered in our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X or a PS5. We pick one winner at the end of each month and the winner gets to pick one item. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Instagram, and Twitter, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.